This video will focus on current and non-current liabilities and the differences between them. Current and non-current liabilities are found on a balance sheet and there's a previous video, video that looks at a balance sheet and another one which looks at the difference between current and non-current assets. This video is going to focus on this area of the balance sheet and specifically just looking at the difference between current and non-current liabilities. Current liabilities are basically short-term debts. They're liabilities which need to be paid back, usually within 12 months. Two examples are accounts payable, which is when the business buys inputs or products on account, which they need to pay back, and generally you would expect that to be within a short time frame. And also an overdraft, which is when uh, the business effectively borrows off a bank by overdrawing its account, taking more money out of it than what is in the account, and that then becomes a short-term debt which must be repaid to the bank. A non-current liability is one that has a, is, goes over a longer term, with that has more than 12 months to pay it back, and a good example of this is a mortgage. So basically on this side of the balance sheet we have current liabilities and the liabilities are debts which need to be repaid. These are short term liabilities paid back in the next 12 months and non-current liabilities. These are long term liabilities which will be paid back over a longer time frame. The liabilities together with the owner's equity will give us this figure of total liabilities and owner's equity and that would be the same uh, as on the other side of the balance sheet, the same as the total amount of assets. And we can see this here. Uh, if you look at the video about the accounting equation, you'll see that is why that is why that is the case.